McLean will be the next one. They're now four transferees. Ferguson. And the likes. We're set. 25 laps for the Queensland Modline title. Strap yourselves into them because this will be a cracker. Joel Shesky gets the start. Sean Rose has a little bow peep on the inside. Mitchell Pimenta drops back to third. Ronnie Pimenta is the next on the racetrack. Mitchell up on the inside of Sean Rose, who's down in no man's land. And he goes back to position four as Ronnie Pimenta moves up into position number three. Joel Shesky, Pimenta, Pimenta, Sean Rose. Michael Miller has passed a heap of cars early. The South Aussie is up into position number four. Casey Collins on the charge. He's passed a ton of cars as well. And it's a hectic start with 22 laps to run, Tegan. Yeah, great start here with the track just starting to fan out for these guys. Front three cars just stretching their way out. And all settling into their racing lines. The entire field running a bit of a low side here. Through the opening laps, we'll be interested to see who starts to step up and change up their lines a little bit. Lap traffic really starting to come into play here. Oh, as I say that, a lap car spins right in front of the race leader. Yeah, and that'll bring the car. Michael Lawton just puts the car around right in front of Joel Teske. Yeah. Jolcheski gets after it and we are underway. Past the witches, how we go. Pimenta goes with Jolcheski though. And he's equally strong in clean air. At this part of the race, Mitchell closes in a little bit that time. Casey Collin. Jolcheski just washes up a little bit higher there. Pimenta closes the gap a little. 13 left to run. With Jolcheski, Mitch Pimenta, Rodney Pimenta. Oh, problems in front of us here. Terry Larenbelt. And Dan Lewis of 25. 13 to run. What's going to play out here? If we get back to some green flag running and get this race done. Jolcheski, Pimenta, Rodney Pimenta in third. Mitchell gets a good run on Jolcheski that time. 12 to go, and Mitchell looks really good. Ron's wide comes back. Now we try to sneak up the bottom. And Mitchell Pimenta is racing. He is coming. Big run here for Pimenta after that restart. Really moving the car around the track to hold the momentum out. All over the back of your race leader. Wash off a little bit of speed there through three and four, which opened the door for Rodney Pimenta to fly on through. Mitch works back to that second position, but the crowd is lost on the race leader as Rodney gets through. Looks like Casey Connell's looking to get through as well. Unfortunate run there with nine laps left to run here on the Queensland State title. And Mitch Pimenta dropping off a few positions. Yeah, Mitchell just gets back in the groove again. I'm not sure what happened. He just went off the ball for a couple of laps. But now he's back in the groove and coming back at his father, who sits in second position. Casey Collins right behind him now. Rocket bobbled a little bit through three and four that time. Seven laps to... Do you throw caution to the wind or do you shut up shop? Casey Collins has to look on the inside of Mitchell for a minute now. He is throwing everything at Mitchell. Oh, it gets into the back of him. Oh. Back. And Rocket's decent right now. Tegan, there's two laps left to run. Yeah, great run there from Rocket. Looking like he's got the speed here, but whether the line's there for him to change it, white flag will show for the Queensland title as the battle is on for the race lead. Pimenta on the low side. Joel Chesky goes up a car width. And Joel Chesky looks like he's got it down the back straight. Pimenta throws it into the third three for the final time. Out of turn number four, it'll be Sam Joel Chesky taking out the Queensland title. Home in second, Rodney Pimenta. Back to Mitch Pimenta.